home buyers paying concession stand prices for their homes? The market is definitely crazy right now with low inventory, pent up demand due to COVID, historically low interest rates, as well as multiple offers in many situations. The prices are rising in many areas, in particular in the entry level and mid level markets. But will these prices hold up in the future? How will this period look in the long term of values? And how is this even happening with so many people still unemployed and so much uncertainty in the economy? My name is Glenn Kangas and I've been a real estate appraiser in Southern California for over 27 years. And my job as an independent appraiser is to help you make informed real estate decisions. I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my incredibly informative blogs. In today's vlog, we will be dis discussing the difference between market value and market price. Buying a home right now is like buying a home at a movie concession stand. You pay market price, there is limited supply, and in particular, no competition, you are a captive buyer. And not only that, with the interest rates as low as they are right now, it makes you feel like a diabetic on low blood sugar. You just have to have that candy. So what do you do? You pay the market price. You pay overpay for that candy and you buy one that's even bigger than you needed. In a normal situation, if you wanted to buy some candy, you have many options available to you. Gas station, grocery stores, Walmart, Target, 7-Eleven. And if the place that you're at doesn't have it for a reasonable price, you can just get it somewhere else. And this competition makes the stores that want to sell candy price it at a reasonable price. This is true market value, where there is normal unbalanced supply and demand, and there is, no one is unduly motivated or pressured to act. What does that mean for buyers and buyers agents in the current market? It means you have to understand your short term and long term plans and goals. If you expect or plan to move and will need to resell your home in less than five years, there's a strong possibility that you may not be able to sell your home for what you are paying now. The market will regain balance at some point in the next six months, the next year, the next two years, and when it does, the hysteria will change to a more normal market. And if interest rates move up even a modest amount from the crazy low level they are right now, that extra pressure to buy will be removed. What will happen when the two prices then? Prices will recede to more reasonable levels from the short term peak. Because remember, what's going on right now is not being driven by economic growth, job growth, or any of the traditional factors to long term value increases. The market now is a result of multiple undue pressures happening at the exact same time. For example, the feeling of buying candy at the movies with low blood sugar. Now, if you are a buyer and can afford it without get, extending yourself, and you expect to be in this home for over five years, or even better, over 10 years, and you are not doing an interest only or some other adjustable loan that will need to be refinanced in the near future, then it's okay to make that purchase. If you, however, are having to stretch your budget tight to make it happen, or only expect to be in the home for three to five years, you may want to slow down and wait until the market is more balanced and you are more sure of your long-term plans. Remember, if at these low interest rates you have to pay $50,075 or $100,000 more, it may not even be saving you money in the long run. It's a great idea to do the math on that. So if you are a buyer right now, don't just buy your home from the concession stand like a diabetic with low blood sugar. Take a moment to really analyze your long-term goals, your budget, and whether right now is a good time for you to buy. And buyer's agents, take the time to bring these things to your client's attention because even though it may cost you a commission in the short term, it will help you keep a client for life, one who will not be mad at you when they have to sell at a loss in two to three years. If you found this vlog to be helpful, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. And until next time, here's hoping you make informed real estate decisions. If you have any appraisal questions, you can call me at 626-803-4593 or you can email me at gaappraisalsinc at gmail.com and I'll always be happy to help you make informed real estate decisions.